a standard update this week um, with celebrations, some health and safety updates, as well as a few things about um, transportation, portrait of a learner, and communication. Um, I first wanted to begin by um, acknowledging and thanking our Board of Education members. Um, the, today is National School Board Member Day, so I would like to give them a, a public acknowledgement and a small token of appreciation for their service to the Valley View community in our district. I think um, this is a historical year, or year and a half, in the sense that local governance has taken on a whole new meeting. And this volunteer role that you all signed up for and were through elected being elected by the community has certainly evolved and changed. So thank you for your countless hours of time and investment that you make for our students here in Valley View School District and for our staff as well. Thank you. Before you go any further, it should be acknowledged that Member Campbell, who is not able to make the meeting this evening, also is uh, our school board representative to the Illinois School Board Association. So. She Thanks, is, Liz. absolutely, she's on the, um, the board, she's a master board member, um, long standing, longest standing member of the board and represents us through the, the delegation as well. So thank you to member Campbell as well. Um, tonight, earlier this evening, we did our teacher spotlight on Mr. Eric Frederick. Um, he is a fourth grade teacher at Irene King and also a veteran. And he's one of many veterans in the school district that we are recognizing um, and honoring them for their service and as well as veterans in the community. Um, our students, our uh, Marine Corps JRT, JROTC students and our Air Force JROTC students um, had a busy week last week, um, being in the community at se different celebrations, celebrating the Marine Corps birthday, um, serving. And so we um, would just like to recognize all the veterans in the Valley View community, in including our very own cadets and Mr. Ken Burgess, transportation staff, who's also um, an alumni of our district. So thank you. Um, and then moving into some of the standard updates with the health metrics, um, we have seen a recent uptick in new cases in the district, in the zip code, and in the county as well. So although we're still in a good place with test positivity percentages, we are seeing a little bit of an uptick, so we're keeping an eye on that um, locally. Um, so um, we're looking at new cases per day. We had a Little bit of an uptick today with I think 13 cases reported. And just as a reminder, um, that, that information is available on our website if anyone is interested. We still have the, the COVID dashboard um, published. Um, but it is a reminder that COVID, flu, or other viral illnesses, it is um, that time of the year. So we just continue to stress the importance of um, personal hygiene, mask, distancing, um, symptom reporting and monitoring, and of course vaccinations um, for all those who are still um, unvaccinated and interested in receiving that in the community. Um, we will continue to monitor this very closely, but um, these things are gonna be more important than ever um, for keeping our kids and our staff safe and keeping us in school. Um, and the topic of vaccination, um, Bolingbrook High School was one of Will County sites for the youth clinic this past Sunday. So just yesterday, more than 400 um, children from our community were vaccinated. So that's um, great news. Um, and we, there continue to be opportunities available at other nearby sites, as well as um, your medical provider and many of the um, community um, pharmacies as well. Um, I mentioned transportation earlier. Our team is continuing to troubleshoot and um, cover e um, each and every day to make, um, make the best of the situation, re in including the fact that we have a staffing shortage. So we're grateful for our team to continue to um, work to make this um, troubleshoot any problems that come up. They are having to be very creative. They are covering a lot of ground and double runs and um, combination of routes. We had the one instance where we communicated with the community regarding some delays. And so thankfully we're um, continuing to hold strong because of the team, but we will keep communication open. Um, it's not just in Valley View, it's um, everywhere across the state and in the nation in terms of staffing. 
So on that topic, um, please spread the word and help us continue to spread the word. We're looking for drivers. Um, we're also looking for um, other um, staff in many areas, whether it's as a guest or sub basis or for um, open positions, paraprofessionals, guest teachers, lunchroom playground aides. Please spread the word and, um, and encourage people to come to our website. Um, we are offering an incentive, a hiring incentive, um, referral incentive as well for the hiring of drivers. So spread the word. Great team to join, come, come join our great team. Um, I mentioned um, a little bit earlier the idea of portrait of a learner and I've shared this at several board meetings before. We just had our second meeting with our design team last week. And this is an effort to re-engage stakeholders. We have a diverse group of um, students, parents, guardians, staff and community members, business partners that have come together um, two evenings now here at Lucanzic Middle School. And we will um, have two um, additional meetings, one in December and one in January. And then we will be sharing that portrait of a learner with the community for input and bringing it to the board for approval in January and February. And this is just about um, what we were talking about earlier. It's re-envisioning what it means to be choice ready. What do we really mean when we say college, career, and life ready? Of course, it is academics and we have high standards and we'll maintain high standards for that. But there's also um, the conversation of what competencies do we truly value as a community and we want to ensure that all of our learners um, leave Valley View School District and they're choice ready, whether they're enrolling, um, enlisting, or seeking employment. We want to ensure that they have um, skill, the appropriate skills and mindsets and the high level of academic standards. So it's, it's re-engaging in that conversation about what is 21st century learning truly look like and what how can we improve and strengthen that in our system? So the design team um, has talked about landscape, sh landscape shifts occurring in society. We are, um, we've discussed competencies and had conversations about which of those are most critical in the workforce and as a result of the, the changes that we're seeing in the landscape in the workforce. Um, and so we will continue to narrow in on that competency selection at the upcoming meeting um, and progress through meetings three and four. And of course, the conversation from earlier this evening, the concept of work habits, um, skills, and mindsets, that's a really critical interplay because it's not just academics that we value, which is clear from you know, the comments that you heard this evening. It is that whole picture, and we wanna continue to um, revisit that, right? It is important that as a system, we think about how do we continue to build an experience that make the school experience meaningful, relevant, um, and provide those opportunities for our students to develop those skills and develop their academic proficiencies. Um, and so I shared this message earlier and I'll just um, display it here um, one more time for the community or anyone watching at home. Um, we all have the shared goal of empowering our learners. We want our kids to own their learning. We want growth for every child. We want high levels of achievement for every child. And we wanna be clear that of what their progress is, what their level of mastery is in relation to the established standards. Um, we do not wanna lower expectations for our students, but we wanna support them to meet the high standards. And we also want our kids to demonstrate work habits and mindsets that support high levels of achievement and high levels of success in the post-secondary world. So um, as I communicated previously, I, we are definitely committed to developing a process to collect voice from our stakeholder groups, to collaborate and to come together for a dialogue. Um, this is a, um, a system change. And so with anything that we do, we want to um, build clarity around the what, the why, and the how, and then also have um, more targeted conversations about purpose of assessment, feedback, and grading, and support strong implementation in the system so that um, we have the best chance at success with whatever um, adjustments or improvements that we do identify need to be made. Um, we will continue to communicate um, regarding that topic as well as any other additional updates. Um, of course, um, our social media and um, building level um, communication avenues are um, continuing to remain open. We will have an update um, at the next board meeting on December 13th. And um, a reminder, um, in the se season and spirit of giving thanks and gratitude, um, we are grateful for the partnership and grateful for the entire Valley View School District community 
from our staff who do um, so much to support our students and our families every single day, to all of our partners in the community and to our partners at home. So um, next week, we do get to enjoy a, a much deserved break um, with no school on the 24th through the 26th. So enjoy the holiday season and please stay safe and healthy.